Officials hope the Florida tourism industry will get a boost this Memorial Day weekend after a tough year. In 2020, the state saw a 34% drop in visitors compared to the year before. But how is tourism looking for Northeast Florida? Joining me now is the CEO of Visit Jacksonville, Michael Corrigan. Michael, good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. How is Jacksonville and Northeast Florida doing? We're doing fantastic. The tourism in Jacksonville has rebounded right back, not only to where we were previously before the pandemic, but we're actually breaking every record for April that we've done in previous years. Do you credit the pandemic for that, people being cooped up so long and ready to get out? Well, I definitely think that's what it is. You know, people have been um, told to stay home for, for over a year, and now that they're told to, that the ways they can go out and enjoy um, traveling safely, many people are doing that. Our, our interstates were full yesterday with people traveling into Florida, and many of them stopping in Jacksonville. Oh, yes, we were stuck in that traffic. A good problem to have most days, right? <laughs> uh, when we talk about the state seeing a 34% drop in visitors, I know you're talking about us rebounding. Where did we fit in within that drop? Were we above that or below that? We've always been a little bit better than everybody else. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. For one, our beaches open. We were the first beaches to open in the state of Florida and many cities around the country heard about that and people came here. And then leisure travelers found out there's so much to do in Jacksonville um, that's not theme park related that they started flocking to our city to enjoy those uh, amenities that we have. You know, and speaking of those amenities, Michael, we talk all the time about what we have to offer as a city. There's really something for everyone, but for people not familiar with Jacksonville, the greater Jacksonville area, they only think about the beaches. There's so much more to do than just the beach. Oh, that's for sure. Um, obviously, people flock to the beach and, and our waterways around town, but we also have amazing museums here in Jacksonville. We've got a world-class zoo. We've got um, outdoor activities. We have the largest urban park system in the country. So if you want to get out and, and get some space and enjoy nature, it's so easy to do in Jacksonville. And, and that's the thing about it. Whether it's your first visit to town or you've been here dozens of times before, there's always something new to do in Jacksonville. And even for those who live here, who have, you know, myself, I've been here for three years. I'm always finding something new to do. For people looking for those ideas, is there a site they can go to to explore? Absolutely. Every visit to Jacksonville should start at visitjacksonville.com. There you'll find hundreds of ideas of things to do. You can even map out a calendar for what you're going to do today and uh, download it or, or send it to your mobile app. Love it. Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.